So we started talking about placement order for squads and why it's important. And someone was wondering about physical evidence of why you wanted to do it. So I'll go to Squad Arena and blow a couple crystals in order to show this. It's probably not best to do it on a gas or Supreme Leader, but I'll try it on one of these Chuck Brennan teams if it will help. So Geo's optimal order right here because when they, every time they attack they're going to do a mass assist which means Sunfact will cleanse Geo Soldier is going to do Tenacity down Spy doesn't do anything Poggle is going to put Ability Block the Tenacity down is going to give Poggle a better chance to put down Ability Block so let's run it one time with the optimal order and then one time without it and it probably won't go too well because Geo's are not very good <laughs> Keep it one time. It's not very best since Poggle's gonna go first. Watch, I'll cleanse actually. So we had Geo Salt Leader. We're gonna do it again, and you'll see the second person to attack is going to be Geo Soldier. Geo Soldier. Poggle, you, you, you. Let's do it. Let's see how it goes differently. Notice how Poggle did not apply ability block because there was no tenacity down. Also, he got countered because the cleanse, he couldn't clear the taunt. The taunt gets cleared last. another really good one because you're gonna always want Pat Padme always has to go first but Ahsoka can dispel after every mass assist 3PO is gonna put confusion which confusion cannot gain buffs gets rid of basically a buff immunity and then the second one is can't counter assist gain bonus turn meter and then the third one is their buffs get increased so it's best to have him second because if, for example, someone has an ability where they can gain a buff by getting attacked, then him putting down a buff, his confusion is going to help. Anakin, second, or fourth, my bad, because healing immunity, buff immunity, you get two buff immunities on this team, pretty nice. And then Kenobi, because every time he does a basic, he has a chance to apply foresight at the end. So, <sighs> let's see it. Okay, now it's kind of hard to 
just showcase this when you're facing super OP uh, Dark Fredman teams. So, but other teams, reason why you have them lined up how they are, Night Sisters. I mean, Talzin always has to go first, but every time there's a mass assist, Talzin will go first, Zombie will go second, which will put Tenacity down, then Daka will go, then Asajj, then Spirit. And another reason why you want Zombie here is because if for some reason someone does a big AoE, two people die, Zombie gives off two revives, it's going to revive Daka, and it's going to revive Talzin, which, if you know anything about a Night Sister team, as long as Daka stays alive, you have a chance. So, but other teams where it does matter, where it doesn't matter, not doesn't matter for all of them, but for some it does. So.